Hello, I am Victor Armstead. This segment of the Parker Daniels Show is brought to you by The Checkered Eye. For more details about The Checkered Eye, stay tuned for the following video. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the checkered eye symbol for people with low vision and the awareness effort Blindness is a Spectrum here on the Parker Daniels Show. Remember to like and subscribe. Good evening. Thanks for joining me again with another episode of the Parker Daniels Show. Now, before I forget, I want you to uh, continue to subscribe. Hit that like button. I don't know why I always stumble over that word. I'm going to practice it a couple of times. But subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you can get updates. Comment, share, and follow. Well, today is Monday, and I have a very special guest. Her name is Libby, all the way from Ontario, Canada. Is that correct? <laughs> Libby? Maybe it's hold on. Libby, are you there? Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, let me do this again. Good evening. Hey. Welcome to the Parker Daniel Show. My name is Anthony Parker. And uh, before I forget, I want you all to continue to subscribe. Hit that like button so, so that you... Can, uh, well, so that I'll be able to know that you like it and hit the notification bell, comment, share, and follow. Today I have a very special guest all the way from Canada. Her name is Libby, right? Hey. Just a brief information about Libby. She has been blind since, teen, uh, since she was a teenager and her sight is slowly deteriorating and her goal is to educate the public on wide range of uh, blindness so she has developed a website y'all uh, blindness is a spectrum to educate the world about the different spectrums different uh, uh, spectrums of blindness and she also has created a, a symbol called the checkered eye now I know y'all have been hearing me talking about it. I've been advertising for a couple of days I have the lady right here she's gonna talk about it since 2001 right Libby actually um, like how long has, has, has the checkered eye been in existence? Since 2000, so it's going to be 19 this fall. Okay. Um, your, your phone is kind of jumping a little bit. So uh, you, whenever you get ready to do your thing, you get into a, a, a pretty good sale. But um, this, the symbol has been used by seven different countries worldwide. And um, it uh, talks about the different uh, types of canes on there and also people... Uh, give their testimonies and stories about uh, blindness and how it affects them. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump into the in interview with Libby, and she's going to talk about her, uh, you know, her, her life, and then move on up to what she has created, which I think is a very good idea. Again, this uh, segment is sponsored by the Checkered Eye. So, without further delay, Libby, tell them what's up. Well, actually, this week, um, it just happens to be White Cane Week in Canada. The first week of February is White Cane Week up here. And uh, so the Checkered Eye Project always does a little boost of awareness. Uh, but also, we are um, talking a bit about the new website called Blindness is a Spectrum. And uh, that was largely inspired by being on some Facebook support groups mm -hmm. with other people uh, who have varying degrees of blindness. And a lot of them are finding that even their family kind of don't understand uh, that, yes, their vision is bad enough to use the word blind. And um, they, it's like some people think they're faking or something if they have a lot of useful eyesight left over uh, remaining so um, the website is really largely inspired by that and just trying to get out the word that blind does not always necessarily mean a complete absence of visual perception and that even some people who are uh, legally blind can have a lot of useful eyesight mm -hmm. that let me uh, let me stop you for a second that brings me back to a situation when I was young when people, uh, when you say something about people think that you're faking, I have a noticeable uh, uh, eye condition, and because of the fact that I get around real well and do things real well, and pe you know, people have the 
the, the, the nerve to say, well, you don't seem like you're blind. You don't act like you're blind. So that, that just kind of brought something to my attention with, when you had stated that. So I just want to throw that in. Go ahead. Yeah, well, you can relate to what I'm talking about. It's, it's really, it's, it's way more prevalent than I thought. I thought, because actually I have, I have a lot of eyesight. I was like just at the threshold of legal blindness for a very long time. Uh, and so, you know, I actually even still rode my bike around town here where I live. I just live in a small town, and I grew up here, so I know where all the stop signs are. Uh, but people then, if I was asking somebody to, to read something to me, or if I didn't say hi when they were across the street, <laughs> mm-hmm. people, people don't understand that I actually do have a significant visual impairment. So that is largely what the Blindness is a Spectrum website is all about. Okay, talk more about it and give them, you know, talk about the checkered eye and, and let everybody know, you know, what it's... Yeah, well, the checkered eye was, yeah, that was started, like, uh, so the blindness is a spectrum is very new. We haven't even actually done any kind of big splashy launch. Um, but the checkered eye project started back in 2000 mm-hmm. when um, I realized I was not the only one for whom um, a white cane was kind of overkill you know people would think either hey you shouldn't have that because again the lots of useful eyesight and i only use my white cane when i'm just carrying it to uh alert drivers to the fact that i can't see that well Mm -hmm. so uh these other people and myself got in a conversation about how yeah we were either um accused of faking blindness and not very well or if we didn't have our white cane People were assuming that we were fully sighted, and then you know, you know, people can often be a little indignant if you're asking for something that it appears you could do right. just fine by yourself. So, um, one of the other people in this conversation suggested a, a wearable symbol, like a badge or something, and all the rest of us went, "Yeah, oh, I would love that," but there was no such thing at the time. And so I thought I had a little bit of spare time. All of my kids were now in school full time. (laughs) So I went home and I designed a symbol. And I sent it to the Canadian National Institute for the Blind, uh, uh, of whom I've been a client ever since I was a kid. And I said, hey, um, you're welcome to use this design. I'm not the only one who would like to use it. Please, can you make this work for us? And unfortunately, they said, no, no. There's a white cane, and if you want a symbol to let people know you can't see, that's it. So yeah, we're not we're not doing that. Okay. So I did <laughs> some more research um, and found that yeah, there were people who say use a wheelchair or a walker mm-hmm. and have low vision or uh, whatever degree of blindness they they would like to be able to use this. Some people with, say, a brain injury who uh, have a hard time talking, they can just point to it to let somebody know they can't see that well. Mm -hmm. Um, So there were all kinds of reasons uh, to do it, and I thought there were not any very good reasons why not to do it, so I went ahead on my own. So I had a batch made and started doing public awareness, and this was back in, like I said, uh, 2000. And now there are people using it in... I think it's six countries. That's great. Canada, the U.S., New Zealand, Switzerland, England, and just last February, about a year ago, Thailand started their own awareness effort over there. Okay. What what I feel is kind of uh, crazy is that evidently these people didn't know or uh, that there are various variations of, uh, of blindness and they just you know they just flat out told you no we have a cane and that's just gonna be it because like I said they, there there are people who, who, who do not use a cane and who do not um, uh, who, who cannot who can see pretty well but still have a, 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 a you know are visually impaired like like yourself and I think yep. that that patch definitely works in that in that favor so that was that's their loss you know what I'm saying and so definitely uh, keep going yeah I mean it's it's kind of a no-brainer some people also myself um, say if I'm I don't know if I got my hands full of something if I'm traveling and I've got luggage and my ticket and my coat I'd rather not have to carry the cane as well, mm-hmm. especially when all I'm doing with it is using it as a symbol. It's just a communicator that I can't see very well. Mm-hmm. So there are lots of situations for lots of different people where having something that's hands-free 
is a good idea. Also, some people feel um, they want something a little more discreet. You know, they don't necessarily right. need to uh, have it for the traffic safety. And once they're in inside the mall or the building or whatever, they just want something that's, like I said, a little more discreet. And uh, I know some people have uh, have requested uh, like a pendant, and so we have a pendant now. And so some guys I know they will wear it inside their shirt, and then when they need to take it out and show it to somebody, then they can do it when they feel it's necessary. And you know what I think of uh, why you why you talking about that? I think of those the uh, the parking passes that they give people who are. Busy. I'm not vision impaired, but I just uh, disabled. You know that, that yep. that's basically along the same lines. You know, and I, that's why I think this is very, very great, great idea. Um, tell the people, the vision impaired people, how the symbol actually looks. Can you can you describe it to them? Sure. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a white circle, and it has a simple line drawing in black uh, of an eye, and the center part of the eye that's normally blue or brown or whatever color your eyes may be. Um, that part is black and white checkers. So it's kind of depicting the idea that it's a grid that's partially blocked, but you know something's getting through, but not everything. So that's what the actual symbol looks like, and it has the words low vision on it. So we also have it in uh, the uh, language of Thailand and in French. Okay, okay. And uh, tell them where they can find it. And there's another question I lost my life in trying to but tell them where they actually, how they can actually get it if they if they really want, you know, want to. Uh, yeah. Well, there are a few places in the states um, where you could get it, but most people order them online. So if they go to checkereye.com, there's there's a page called order, and you can order uh, right on there. Uh, you can pay with PayPal. Um, if you don't have that, a, a personal check is fine. <laughs> how much is it? So. Yeah, and uh, we also have on that page um, some items for, uh, like we have a whole bunch of different formats. There's a, There are pins, there's a sew-on patch, there are some clothing safe stickers, and uh, I also, also mentioned the pendant. So they come in But different. we also have some things for sale for people who just want to support the effort. We mm -hmm. have some really cool t-shirts. Okay, so the, so, yeah. the, so they all come in different forms, like you said, patches, pins, and things of that nature. Uh, what's the pricing on the, on these? Uh, uh, check it out. Well, the the uh, the smallest one is four dollars, and the, so that's a pin. We have a slightly larger. So the smallest one is a one and a half inch circle, and that's four dollars. The two and a quarter inch circle is four fifty. The pendant is a two inch item, and that one it comes with a, a chain, so that one's ten dollars. The sew on patch is six dollars, and you can get a supply of ten of the clothing safe stickers for four dollars. Okay, I think I would like the chain. That, that sounds like it would be Yeah, cool. yeah, it's, it's convenient, and you can have it inside your shirt if you don't want it uh, on display all the time. Okay, and what's what's what has been the most popular seller? You know what? It's been the the two and a quarter inch pin is the most popular one so far. Oh, okay, and I do. I, do, I always use that wait. on my on my winter coat. You know, it's it's a big enough pin that you can stick it through a lot of <laughs> fabric. Mm -hmm. I do want to let you know that I do believe in what you're doing. That's why I I, I was very. Uh, 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 adamant about getting the information uh, I had started using uh, uh, the video a couple of days ago so I'm gonna do my best to continue to uh, let everyone know about it so definitely y'all again this is this is the lady who has created it so definitely if y'all want to jump on and, and um and, and get the checkered eye and visit the website give it to give them the websites again well the website for the checkered eye is checkereye.com and I'll spell it it's c-h-e-c-k-e-r-e-d EYE dot com and the uh, straight out awareness uh, website is called it's blindness is a spectrum no spaces dot com okay and tell me and uh, I'd like to tell you that the uh, the awareness website we do actually have a ribbon you know how so many causes have an awareness ribbon and they're all different colors uh -huh. well nobody was using the checkered ribbon so <laughs> The blindness is a spectrum. Uh, awareness ribbon is checkered, and you can also get that through the website and some uh, spectrum T-shirts. Really cool image on there. Okay, well, y'all definitely jump on that. Uh, before I go, give them a brief history about. Uh, you say you you have uh, uh, 
you got, you're visually impaired, just tell them ab about your uh, your uh, eye condition and, and okay. Condition. Yeah, I I have a, a condition called Stargardt's disease, and it's a recessive gene, and uh, it does the same thing as macular degeneration. So it destroys your central vision. So I, like I said, I can juggle. <laughs> I could run an obstacle course probably as well as anybody else my age. <laughs> okay. But uh, I don't have any detail vision. Okay. All right. Well, um, definitely I'm glad you enlightened them on that. And uh, as we conclude, do you have any positives or anything that you want to uh, leave the people, leave with the people? And um, also tell them why they should subscribe to the Parker Daniel Show if you may. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I, I was talking, I was at a convention with a lot of blind people this weekend, and this one fellow just had the greatest attitude, and he said, you know, blindness will not uh, ruin your life, but if you have a bad attitude about it, <laughs> that possibly could. That's so um, just the idea that there are ways to do what you need to do and what you want to do. And um, so the Checkered Eye Project is all about awareness for the checkered eye and the weight cane. And blindness is a spectrum is about all of us and that we are all so different. I know that's right. And tell them why they should sub subscribe or you know, tune in. Oh, yeah. And please uh, uh, like and subscribe to the Parker Daniels Show. All right, y'all. Y'all heard it from Libby all the way from Canada. Is it cold out there, Libby? It's freezing. <laughs> really? It's, it's, it's like about 60, 60 degrees down here. So send us a little bit Lucky of that, that coldness because it, it doesn't even seem like winter down here, though. <laughs> but uh, appreciate you coming on here. Y'all definitely check it out. She's going to leave me with some links. I'm going to put them in the description so y'all can get that checkered eye, man. For real. So continue to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like, follow. Libby, thank you for coming on the show. And, well, uh, it's my any, pleasure. Anything else we could do to help you out, be glad to do so. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Thank you. Now, go Thanks. back and exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. I, I hope you enjoyed hearing about the checkered eye symbol for people with low vision and the awareness effort Blindness is a Spectrum here on the Parker Daniels Show. Remember to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.